Hey guys, it's Dana and welcome back to Kay's Place. So I hope you guys had a happy 4th of July. We had a very sad but busy 4th of July. Ooh, that was fuzzy. Um, my husband's grandpa passed away. So um, on my birthday, how sad. Um, so we had a really busy 4th of July. That lighting is so bad. Hold on a second, let me see if I can fix it a little. There, that's a little bit better. So, um, we had kind of a busy, but kind of a sad, didn't do a whole lot of fourth, except for the fourth. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we were. Um, so I hope everybody else had a much better fourth in July than we did. This lighting is just terrible in this basement. I've got this big overhead light, and it just, and then I've got my desk light. And so... If I adjust the light too much, it glares. And then if I don't adjust it enough, it's dark. So, I'm just play games with the light down here until I can get rid of that light back there and get a different light. So, so I did some shopping because I had nothing else better to do because we really didn't celebrate. So, I went to Tuesday morning Michael's, the Dollar Tree, and we stopped by the Salvation Army Thrift Store. I think that's the one we went to. So, let me start by showing you guys what I picked up at Michael's, because it was probably the fewest things I picked up, and then we'll go from there. I have been making some projects out of chipboard, and I ran out of medium weight I guess it's a light to medium weight chipboard it's what you can buy where they have all of the loose paper at Michaels so I went in and picked up I think four or five sheets of five sheets I think it's this medium weight chipboard at Michaels all I picked up I used a 15% um, off coupon plus it was damaged all of it was damaged like on the ends, I don't even see that. Like all of it was like all crinkled up at the ends. It was on that end and then down here at this end. It was all crinkled, it was all like that. So she went ahead and gave me an extra 10% off. So I actually ended up getting 25% off the five sheets that I bought. So had I known that she was actually gonna give me some off, I probably would have bought more. <laughs> so, but. I bought those five sheets. I stopped in at the Dollar Tree. Um, I've got some things I just need to organize. And I noticed last time I was in, they were starting to put out all their school supplies. So I stopped in and bought a one inch white binder. I like these pocket folders that they have. These are really super sturdy pocket folders. So these are called the Twin Pocket View Poly Portfolios. They have a cover on the outside. Then you open them up and they have two pockets on the inside. And they're that hard plastic. So I picked up three of these. And then just to keep track of some things in that as well, it's specifically for a purpose. I picked up a 2020 student planner. This is pink with black polka dot, or black with pink polka dots. Um, it's got kind of a personal data page. It um, starts in July. It's got a 2019 and 2020 calendar in the front. It's got a place for birthdays, anniversaries, and special dates. Just in case you're looking for something for bills or whatever. Um, it has a 2019 and 2020 planning guide. And this is what the calendar pages look like. Um, then back towards the back of the calendar, it's got a 
kind of a 2020 planning guide in case you need to write down or circle some dates for things with notes at the bottom. It's got holidays and dates for 2019, 2020 and postal abbreviations and military states. So there's the holidays and the postal abbreviations. It also has a personal phone directory. It's got contact names, home phone, work phone, email, cell phone, and address. It's got several pages for that. It's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, four pages for that. It's got a U.S. metric conversion table with liquid, dry, weights, and lengths. It's got a temperature conversion. It's got word, phrases, and abbreviations. It's kind of nice. And then in the very back, it's got an eclipse table um, with the 2019 and 2020 moon phase chart in there. So it's a decent little calendar. So I just picked that up to keep track of some things I needed to keep track of. And then, working our way down from small so I guess I stopped at the thrift store and I picked this up. It's called Polyfill Cushioning Craft Foam Quick Craft for Padding and Crafts. And there are four sheets. They're five by seven. And it was 59 cents. So here recently I've been trying to work on my paper flowers and getting them to look a little more formed. And I've been watching some videos and I noticed that they always put down a layer of padding under the foam that they're using. So I thought this is cushy. So I got some of this. I'm sure it'll come in handy for other things, but I thought that, that would be that's decent. It was only 59 cents. So I picked that up. And then so this may be too hard a foam, but I don't think it is. I think it'll be okay. So these are foam blocks. It was 99 cents for all these foam blocks. This is how thick they are. So I can only work on small flowers at a time unless I like glue them together and make a bigger sheet. But it's real pliable. Um, and like I said, I have that other cushion to put underneath of it. But I thought this would be great. Um, a friend of mine, so I don't have any fancy tools to form my flowers with. A good friend of mine gave me, let's see if I can get it out of my tool bucket over here. These are actually ice tea stirs. They're kind of long, but I use them like this. It's got this perfect little ball at the end of it. And this works amazing to form my flowers, or at least the bigger ones. Um, because it's the same shape. And I was kind of playing around with the foam and it's really pliable and I think it's going to work really well to form my flowers. So this is one of the things I use when I'm playing with my flowers. I need to order one of the tools that actually has all the different little ends on it to form my flowers. But this is one of the things I use when I'm playing with my flowers. And I've got a couple other things that I use. I've got a couple styluses that are bigger. I have bigger ends to them and I use those. So, but I've got this huge package of foam. I'm sure I'll find something else to do with it. But I've got this huge package of foam that I only paid 99 cents for. So, now, on to Tuesday morning. I found this gorgeous by Kay and Company rose gold swirl set for $2.99. And the number was 2150030. And I love rose gold. It is like my favorite. And this was just so pretty. So I'll put up a little closer so hopefully you can see it. It's rose gold and pearls. It is so pretty. 
I haven't seen a Kay and Company thing there in a while, but it was just like a big one that I just wanted to get. So that was so pretty. So pick that up. I found a the We Are Memory Keepers Brad Setter. Um, I have, I needed something to, I do have one of the things that I like use to like weed my vinyl and stuff and like get the little pieces out of my dies, but I needed something that had a bigger end to it to poke holes for my breads and um, poke holes for other things. So I uh, had seen someone using this and I was like, that looks like it would be so helpful. So I found this, it was $3.99, and the number on this was 215-0705, and I was actually going to order it on Amazon, and then I saw it at Tuesday morning. So that's what that looks like. I'm sure you all have seen one before. I just happened to find it at Tuesday morning and thought, nah, there you go, I don't have to order it now. So there is the, just in case my lighting is decent enough and you can catch that sticker. So I did finally find a few of the Love and Lemon things. Um, my very, I'm gonna take a drink, sorry. Having coffee this morning. My very dear friend Linda was so sweet to pick me up some of the brads from the Love and Lemon collection because I didn't think we would ever get it. And I did finally find, I still haven't seen the brads, um, but I did finally find a few pieces from the collection and the one I was actually looking for, Linda, I found. Um, and if you want a few pieces, let me know and I'll send them to you. Um, so I finally did find a few pieces of the collection. So I found this ball chain, which I thought might be good for um, a dangle or something. But I found this ball chain. It's six feet of chain with 12 connectors. And the number on this is 212-9717. It was $1.19. And I would have gotten more if they had more of them. They only had this one package. And that's what that looks like. And this is an AC Moore brand, the Love and Lemon is. Um, and I don't get up to visit my son as often as I would like. And he lives in the Pennsylvania area. And that's... Uh, the only place I ever get a chance to go to AC more. So I did find the rayon tassels and they come in a baby pink, a hot pink, a red, kind of a peachy color and a bright yellow. So there are 10 tassels for $1.99 and the number on these is these because I was definitely going to pick one up for Linda and they only had one package. So like I said, Miss Linda, you want some of these, you let me know and I'll send a half. Um, they are the printed metal keys, <clears throat> keys, and they, the number on these is 212-9512 and these are just so cute. They come in a pink, a blue, an orange, a green, and they're all printed. And there's like a red, a white, and then another kind of green and a blue, and they're all different shapes, and they're a good weight to them. If I find another package, I'm definitely getting them. And the number on these is 212-9512, and they were $249. And that's what these look like. I'm sure you've seen people haul these already, because I'm kind of late to the game. And if that sticker's going to show up, maybe, maybe not. I'll be so happy when my husband fixes the lighting down here. We can get some tile or something on the floor because these walls are so stark and just so the lighting just bounces off these things. So I did find, and I hadn't seen anybody haul this. I hadn't seen it before and I'm sure somebody has. I just haven't seen it. This is the Love and Lemon Fabric Ribbon. It's one and a half inches by two yards. It's 212-9814, it was $1.19, and this is a white pleated ribbon. Let's see if I can actually find the beginning of it. 
tried the other day. <laughs> Not much luck. So here it is. It doesn't, it's not stretchy. It's just a white pleated scrunched ribbon. Like a real pretty trim. But you could easily dye this or spray it and let it dry. So, but it is just a really nice heavy white ribbon or trim. So, I wish they'd had it in a different color or different colors because it is a nice heavy trim. So it is. Does it say that it's just this fabric? But yeah, it is definitely a nice heavy. Apparently, this brand is out of Canada. It's distributed by Q Brands out of Ontario, Canada. I'm going to have to put some more sticky stuff on this ribbon because it does not want to stay closed now that I opened it. Um, it was hard to open and now it's going to be difficult to close. <laughs> there we go. So, and then the thing I was actually looking for everywhere and even had my friend looking for for me were the Lemon Lemon resin flowers not too shabby they're 4.5 ounces these were two dollars and 49 cents and the number on them was 212-9524 and that's what those look like so let me open these up because there were i mean i mean these are really nice quality flowers so when you get like there's that blue rose you get this kind of a gray color. You get this really pretty, looks, kind of reminds me of a mum, maybe, or chrysanthemum. Um, and you get it in this mince color. And you get this really pretty blue. And you get a pink. And then you get these teeny tiny mint ones and then you even get those little the mums they come in the teeny tiny ones as well so there's a little so I mean they just go on and on I mean there's just a bunch of them in here I think that's I don't think there's any other colors yeah, that's it as far as the colors go. But you get a good selection of the roses and the mums, and they all come in the different sizes. So, and for $2.49, that's a great deal. I would have actually loved to have found two of these, because I so would have loved to have been able to send an entire one to my friend. But I only found one, so I'm still willing to share. And then I found by um, me and my big ideas, I love anything navy because my son's been in the navy and if I ever get off my duff and actually get to sit down here and craft, it is now summer and I probably spend, now that I've actually managed to get a few more things unpacked out of my house, um, we probably spend a lot more time outside. I have a garden, we spend a lot of time out in the pool, we spend a lot of time just doing things outside. Um, we've been spending a lot of time down at the farm, so we just spend a lot more time away from home. Um, but I found this gorgeous, um, kind of a soft chipboard sticker, some of them are layered, they have some of them, they're kind of foiled, it's really pretty. Um, it's a naval theme, it says, Ahoy, anchors away, you float my boat, sailor, sail away with me. And the sail away with me is layered and it's got gems it's got a glittered background it's so cute it is 240 dollar 49 and the number on it is 212-3174 so these are so cute 
they would even be cute if you were doing like a um a cruise if you went on a cruise and you wanted to do like a mini album for a cruise they would be adorable for that too so pick those up i also found a couple dies y'all know that's my weakness i did find this one this is not the one i wanted i wanted the ballerina but i went ahead and picked up the puppet this is the richard gray puppet die um, I thought this would be absolutely adorable. Um, I want to play around with it and see what I can do, but I thought this would be really cute at Christmas, maybe dressed up like an elf. That's my thought process, but I really wanted the ballerina, but I hadn't found the ballerina. I found the puppet. This is from Medieval or Media Venture Collection. It's the puppet. The number on the, it was four forty nine. The number on this one's two one five one six nine four. But there is a ballerina out there, and that's the one I actually wanted. But these are movable. You can actually make them move. They do have joints. If you notice, there are actually little joints here, and you can put brads in these. And make these a make him a you do not have to but you can make him a movable puppet under his little clothes which I think is adorable but I was just thinking you know not just a puppet but he would make a cute elf at Christmas if I can work that out so that's my thought on that and then I found this which is a foliage dye by Spellbinders. It's got six different leaves. It was $4.99, and the number on this one is 2156595. I love my Spellbinders dyes. It's probably my biggest collection of dyes are my Spellbinders dyes. And let me show you these leaves because they are really super cute. So they do range anywhere from big to small. piece of something but that's okay Let's see if it'll stick to the wrong side of that so you got this one no apparently it doesn't so you have this one here and it's a big sheet of magnet by the way it's just the wrong side of it and you have this one I like this one a lot because you could put a big flower over top of it and you wouldn't necessarily have to use the whole piece. Then you have, oops, this one right here. This one, which reminds me of like a celery leaf. That's what that actually reminds me of, like a little bushy piece of celery. Or a carrot top. And then this one, which is definitely like a flower. It almost reminds me of a flower petal instead of a leaf. So those are the those are the leaves that are in that uh, set. And I just think they're really, it's a really good foliage set if you can find that. I was really happy to see that. I can pick that up. Okay, then I actually got these at like two, three different Tuesday mornings, so. Um, then I found the clear plastic. This is acetate by American Crafts. Um, it is actually to make the clear plastic boxes. I do not have the gift box punch board. I'm considering getting it though because this is some really good acetate. 
So there are 25 sheets in here. It was $4.99. The number on this is 2150773. That's what this looks like. So even if I just use these for shakers, I think I got a really decent deal. And I did pick up two packages of this. I'm not sure you're actually going to be able to see the sticker on that, but just in case. And like I said, I did go ahead and pick up two packages of that, so I should be set for acetate for quite a while. Unless I decide to go hog wild and start making some boxes. So, for a long time now, I have wanted to order some basil cardstock. I have heard people talk about basil cardstock forever and how amazing it is. Every time I've seen basil cardstock at Tuesday morning, it is in 6x6. Six or it is a single color of cardstock. So, I went in, and the one time I found some basil cardstock, it was in like 50 sheets or something, and it was like a summer collection or a spring collection, and literally the lady got there and picked it up like a second before me. So, when I went in on Wednesday, I think, it's the day before the 4th. They had three packages of basil cardstock in 12 by 12. And this thing has just about every color in the rainbow in it. Pretty close. I think it doesn't have white. It has 29 colors. Colors and textures may vary from what is shown, is what it says but it has got a bunch of colors in it. It's got a cream, it's got gray, it's got orange, it's got three shades of purple, two shades of green, three shades of blue, four shades of blue. But yeah, so this is what it looks like on the front. I am not big into paying $10 for a thing of cardstock. It's not my thing, but this is basil cardstock. I've heard it is amazing to work with. I've wanted some forever. Um, so, um, I hear Ida talk about it all the time, um, of whose opinion I think highly of. If you've ever watched her channel, Created to Create, uh, like, I think highly of her opinion, and she says Basil Cardstock is the bomb. So, I've wanted to play with it for a long time now. And this one actually does not have the sticker on it. I wish it did. So, none of them had a sticker on them. They had not priced any of these. Like, I don't know whether they forgot or what, but I don't have the number for it. Um, I wish I did. Um, she actually had to look it up and charge me for it, but it was $9.99. So, I didn't care what the number was. I didn't care how much it was. I wanted it, um, but it was $9.99. But I was very happy to have it. Like I said, it's 100 sheets, and there are 29 separate colors in there. So, I was very happy to get it. Um, I do like having patterned cardstock, but I also like having plain cardstock. Um, because I have lots of dyes that I think look great cut out in patterned cardstock. But I also think they look amazing cut out in plain cardstock and layered on top of a pattern cardstock. So, that's just me. But that is everything I picked up while I was out and about this weekend, or over this past week. So, um, I may get a chance to stop at the other Tuesday morning that is close by the house tomorrow um, <clears throat> while I'm going to visit my mama. So, if you've had a chance to go shopping over this wonderful fourth. Oh, I did pick up something else. I almost forgot. I, um, when I picked up that die from Wish, that, uh, that die that I never could, the unicorn bow that I never could get apart. Well, my husband's supposed to be working on it with his dremel, but he's been really busy at work. Um, it actually broke my micro flesh wire cutters. Or metal cutters 
So, and I had not had a chance to get back out to Harbor Freight, which is where I picked those up at, to buy a new set. Or actually, I guess I didn't realize it broke them, but it dulled them to the point to where when I got my new dies in from Allie, I couldn't cut them. They would not cut. So I had to go back out and purchase a new set of micro cutters from Harbor Freight. So I've seen people cut or buy the micro jewelry cutters from like Michaels and things like that. These work, I think, just as well. I've seen those used. Um, these work just as well. They get right up close to the die, you know, when they're not broke. <laughs> And um, these are like $3.99 and you can use a 20% off coupon or I went July 4th and I used a 25% off coupon. So they were just like right at $3 and they work amazing. They've got a great spring. They get right up close to the die. They cut so well. I have a regular pair of wire cutters as well that I use, but those are amazing. And then I also picked up another 24 compartment storage container i store beads in these i store breads in these i will separate those resin flowers and store them in here so that when i want one i can just go in and pick out the color that i want and not have to search i've got a thing of beads over here or pearls glass pearls that i need to separate and i will do that and separate them in here um like tassels and things like that, that ball chain, all those things I separate in here. And they can either, right now they're in a cubby, but they're, they've kind of overgrown their cubby because I think I've got two, four, six, seven of them. This will make the eighth one. Um, so they can stand up on the floor. We're getting ready to buy a bookcase for down here. Um, or if I ever got pegboard, I could put like a little hook on the pegboard and they can hang up on a pegboard because they don't, nothing mixes in them. So I love those, they're amazing. So, but with that said, that is everything that I've picked up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, here's one of the things I am currently working on. Um, this is what it looks like. It's got a little container right there. It's got an inside part. So this is like one of those little pick-me-up things from Silhouette. So it gives you an idea of how long that is. Um, <clears throat> you could easily put that in there. Um, it's deep enough to put a little pair of scissors in the front if you wanted to. Um, my little glass block, my little block fits in there in the front. So, that's how deep that is. So, I'm working on this little project. Um, I want to fill this up with embellishments that are on a card to send it to someone. This is not my design. I did get this from the Posh Paper Lady. Um, I think it didn't quite get on the card, on the base, quite straight enough. For me, it's not quite perfect. It still needs to be decorated, however. Um, this is K and Company paper. It is paper, the design paper goes all the way through the bottom. You can see there's a little bit of light showing in right through there, so I need to put a little more glue right there. Um, just to make sure that it's sealed perfect. So I think it needs a little more glue right there along that bottom edge, because um, I don't want it to come off. But yeah. That was my first attempt, so. But yeah, I was happy with it. It's all made out of chipboard. There are a couple other things that she has that I want to make out of chipboard that are embellishment boxes. And it will have feet on it, so it stands up a little higher off the desk. And I have a couple of people that I want to send some embellishment boxes to. So, and that's what this is, it's an embellishment box. It's kind of a uh, take on an embellishment box. So. I swear I do craft every once in a while. I don't just buy things. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm going to hop off here and see if I can get my day started. I hope you guys have a wonderful end to your July 4th weekend. And 
comment down below. Let me know what you guys are up to crafting wise. If you found anything good. Um, I have been on the search on the hunt for a pebbles die. If you guys find it, let me know. It is a pebbles recipe die. Normally I don't, every once in a while I'll come on and I'll ask you guys if you find something to let me know. It is a pebbles, it's from Tuesday morning. It is a pebbles recipe card die. It's got two recipe cards in it with tabs. It's got a word that says eat in it. I'd really like to have it. I'd really like to be able to find it. I can't find it at any of my Tuesday mornings. If I find it, I'll update down below in the comment section. If you guys find it, let me know. Maybe we can work something out. So with that being said, I'm going to hop off here. Love you guys to death. You're more than just subscribers. You guys are my friends and family. So hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys again soon. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below. It would mean the world to me. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button and a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.